I'm Andy, Andy Dargan Schrader. Um, I've been in business since my fourth year. Um, my inspiration is my characters, which were created in high school and uh, had been um, sitting, um, I don't know, un unexpressed inside of me for years. And um, one evening with some moms at Barry Brook at a creative night, I went and was given a piece of paper and some pieces of wood and some paint and uh, out from me came this this girl um, and it was just um, something that I had been needing to express for some time and it's been a long time since I've drawn these people I was um, a sophomore in high school when I first created them and they have they have uh, evolved quite a bit since then but she is the first one that I drew since um, the mid '80s, um, and so it's this is a pretty this is a pretty special piece of work here. Uh, mm -hmm. This one is also pretty special because um, I first started. Well, my very first cards I printed were printed in Hawaii when I lived there um, when I was in my early 20s and. Um, I couldn't find a special thank you card for friends in Boston, so I created my own. It wasn't this one. It was a boy wearing mahalo, um, op shorts and a Hawaiian shirt, and it said mahalo on it, and um, that was my thank you that I sent back to all the friends and family who had sent me off to Hawaii. Um, but this one I created when I first started my business four years ago. We were going on a family vacation, and I decided to print up a few cards, designs. I started with um, the piano player, the hula girl, the um, the surfer, whatever he is, the surfer, and um, a few others, the flute girl, um, biker, and I went to Hawaii equipped with my cards and made some calls ahead of time to see, oh there's the surfer right here, um, if I could get some interest. I'm just going to do that. And I did. I sold to several different stores that week. I think I got four or five orders um, from my little test market there. And um, so that was really the start. Since then, I think I started with six designs. So, I have added incrementally over the four years I've been in business. Um, I added another 12 this summer. So where are the images coming from? Like, what, what do you do to bring them out? I'm inspired by photos I see, magazine pictures of people, active people, active um, sports in the newspapers. Um, I and then I just recreate them using my own images. Um, pen and ink drawing and I do use watercolor for the coloration and um, and then I have them printed and I uh, I'm inspired by all the things that mean most to me which is music, art, sports, um, yoga um, and special occasions, simple pleasures um, for example, reading in the chair. Um, that was actually a picture of my daughter and I. Um, but it, reading is such a huge um, priority in my life, in my family's life, that it, it has a special meaning in our house. Um, as well as this girl in the field of daisies reading a book. Um, because to me, one of the most special things you could do is is be immersed in a great book in a beautiful spot. Um, I'm also a rower, um, so I of course have a, a, a person who is rowing, as well as kayakers. Um, the beach is, is uh, one of my favorite spots. Where can people find out more information about your work? Um, on my website. I have a website, www.andiespeople.com. Well, thank you very much, Anne. Okay, thank you.